kitties welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kira i'm better known as afro kitty on social media and for those of you who are new to my channel i am an artist that loves to talk about dolls cartoons tv shows movies anime and i also make vlog videos talking about art events that i attend and for this video we'll be unboxing brooklyn barbie from the dream besties dolls yay saw these dolls in my local Macy's and I was so excited to get these. Really fell in love with Brooklyn Barbie the most out of everyone. My second option had to be Renee. Luckily, they're only $20 so it's a good price. When I went with my friend to Macy's, we had a struggle because most of the dolls had like wonky ass faces, especially Brooklyn Barbie. She had the wonkiest faces out of everyone and it was such a frustrating task to just go one by one with each doll and just see which one had the most accurate face or just like the eyes looked as accurate or like they didn't look wonky so she was like the best one out of everyone and it was such a sad thing to see because there was a lot of dolls they had more than 10 of these and like let's just say eight out of ten had wonky ass faces like that is so freaking crazy i was frustrated as hell because i was like damn like yes they might be like a really good price uh, they might be really affordable but sometimes like the manufacturing they just really fucked her up let me know in the comment section because i know that when i was looking for this doll like she had a lot of wonky faces mira story time I know that we're so, you know, let me start unboxing while I give you a story time. Okay, ADHD, like I sometimes can't do two things at the same time. Um, but when I was younger, I remember my mom would give me a lot of, you know, I grew up with a lot of Barbie dolls and Bratz dolls. I never really owned a black Barbie doll or a black Bratz doll you know, Sasha or Felicia. I never owned any of them. Most of the dolls that I had when I was younger was definitely um, Barbie, like a blonde Barbie or a tan Barbie. I, I remember the collection that I had was, um, I think it was the either, I think it was the Swan Lake collection. Cause I know there was a Barbie doll that was um, the Swan Queen or something. I don't know, she was like a fairy or something. Me here, while I'm editing this video, I wanted to add that it was not in fact the Swan Lake collection, the one that I owned. In fact, the one that I actually owned when I was younger was the uh, Magic of Pegasus one. And I actually had the castle and a few of the dolls. I don't remember if the Barbie doll that I actually owned was the blonde Barbie or the African-American Barbie doll because um there they had a variation they always had like a second doll that was the black barbie doll but i do remember the wand and it was a very beautiful wand and it would um shine different colors i really remember that vividly vividly but the actual doll that i would play with excessively was the queen and the queen is called rayla the cloud queen she had a beautiful blue dress and she was just so gorgeous to me and she also included like i think it was a teal or like a very mint green um, pegasus and I do have pictures here to showcase you what I'm talking about but I remember these vividly like really really cool now the castle was also very very beautiful and I don't recall the movie to be honest I, I don't think I can recall the movie at all I remember playing with these dolls and I really love the castle and I really love Rayla like she was my favorite doll overall and she was tan and the craziest part is that every time I would watch these um, shows or movies you know Barbie in the early 2000s I would relate to the tan character the most and girl like i would i would think she was black but girl she not black she's just a, a tan version you know she not black so it's kind of weird oh she looks good and i i, I went with like blue to just like match with her and even you know, like my whole setup is blue too like ugh, i love it now i will say this the only thing i don't like about this doll is the skirt and the shoes like this whole and it's i i don't think you can remove it because it's all one piece i don't like it i wish they a little bit more effort into giving like actual like legging material and then giving her a different color shoe and the skirt is just um you know props for the the material because it's a different material but um the the way that it's sewn on it just looks awful but when i saw the top 
love this. I love this and I can definitely use it to one of my Lika Chan dolls or Jenny's. No, more about my Jenny doll because I love my Jenny doll. And then I have a black Barbie doll that I love that I would want to give her this top and then just interchangeably like change outfits. I know there's like these pants that are from Jenny that I got for my birthday. I legit want to like change her and give her like the short pants instead of this skirt because this skirt is not for me I, I really don't like it but i think the best element that she has is again the articulation and this little ruffled jersey jacket i i think it's nice i i really think it's really nice everything else like this i'm gonna put it in a bag or a ziploc bag because i don't use i don't do too much because i just i know i'll lose these items and i want to be very very careful and mindful of these things because they're tiny they're very very tiny items okay now she has a phone case a phone a bag she has a boombox tablet and one of those uh selfie sticks with a ring a ring light i think it's really cool i thought she was the influencer character but no i think she wants to be a musician or an artist uh let me see she wants to be a dancer she's very creative and all that stuff it's really nice i think the one that's like more of an influencer is renee so i think they would be really good friends because they would like match up together and do different things but yeah growing up i never really had a black barbie doll so most of the dolls that i would relate to the most was with the tan characters like the darker characters before any other black character was introduced in the show like some examples that i can give you right now with barbie again it's like the tan character like the the best friend of barbie in every other movie like like Barbie in the Dream Castle, her best friend. And I think they were gay actually. I think they were living, they were living in the cabin and everything. Like, girl, they were living the best life. Um, I definitely I loved Winx Club. Okay. I loved Winx Club. But I used to be a big fan of Flora because she was like the darkest one at the start, you know? So I was like, oh, I want to be like Flora, whatever, whatever. And then until Aisha slash Layla came out, I was like, oh, I love Aisha Layla then. So you know, like it's kind of like it's kind of sad you know it's kind of sad but i'm really happy that now i'm able to own a lot of black dolls and then i can customize them however i want to to like i love that so this is a dog i mean it's a cute dog mm, cute i actually thought this dog was gonna be like barbie's dog like malibu barbie's dog i don't know why but you know but it's still a cute doggy you know i think it's like a golden doodle those golden doodles are so popular and another strand Snip, snip. And this one. Snip, snip. Okay, girl. Damn. Such a difficult task to remove your head. Okay. And she is free. Freedom! Okay, sorry. <laughs> She's like... Now, I like the color of the tinsels, but if it was up to me, I would not have her with tinsels because it's such a difficult thing to maintain and to like brush on. But I know this is like a popular trend that was going on. My mom even wanted tinsels. Oh, my mom has like naturally straight hair. So, but look at how articulated she is. Like she has the knee articulation. She has, let me remove the jacket for a minute. But yeah, I like her this way without the jacket. I know the jacket gives her like some style. But yeah, she has wrist articulation, elbow articulation, and I, I find that amazing. I think you can, yeah, you can sit them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they have any um, articulation on the waist or here like they do with Monster High. But I love this doll. I don't know what's about her that I'm just like, I, I like the way you look. I love the way she looks. So cute. I wish I could have done makeup for this video, honestly, but I love her and I'm pretty. But I think she will look even prettier without the tinsels in the hair. Seriously, like without the tinsels, maybe like a small afro, I think she would do really, really good. Really gorgeous. But yeah, I would remove um, this skirt and give her like something different. Let me see if the actual clothing that I want to give her actually looks a lot better. My final thoughts for this doll is that she's a really cute doll very affordable and i think this is a really nice collection that barbie has been making recently and i do think that some of the dolls that barbie has been bringing out this year has been so so good like they look really really good so i'm really glad to to see this new change to barbie to be honest they look really nice i'm excited to see 
more dolls from this collection i'm not sure if they're intending on bringing any more dolls maybe like a ken doll in the future i would be excited to see how ken would look not gonna lie like in this in this kind of style even though i know there's like a cartoon that they have or like a tv show that they have going on and then that ken looks very basic and i don't know what's going on with that ken like why did they decided on giving him like a whole it's a sweatpants sweatshirt look and it's just so plain he looks weird in my opinion so hopefully if they do decide on making a doll for him they do i'll mix it up a bit give him something nice give him something nice to stand out okay but i really like this doll she's so cute i wanted to restyle her hair a little bit but i don't have the the talent or the patience to do that and i will say i did change her outfit a little bit i did keep the top that she brings in it's a white top that i love so so much but i gave her this um item that is from the rainbow high um fashion packs this is skylar's and the skylar one is like the swimsuit one where it includes a bathing suit and some accessories as well but i really like this and it looks really really nice on her not only that i changed her pants and these are the pants from my i love you doll it's like the rapunzel one so yes if you want to change them up and give them a different look to them you can definitely use rainbow high and um i love you dolls they would fit really well now when it comes to shoes it's a, like uh, it's a little iffy because for monster high shoes they're a little too big on her and then for my jenny dolls and my um Lika chan dolls they're a little too small i did try fitting on like some purple shoes that i had from my jenny dolls and they did fit but you know it, they're, they're a little, little stiff you know they're a little stiff and i also wanted to change her leg warmers that are connected with the shoes because i don't like this and i tried painting them but i didn't even bother like recording or anything i didn't even do it to be honest that was like an idea that never came th true so i was kind of sad that i never got the chance to paint it but i really wanted to paint the leg warmers at least like a white or like a cream shade just so it looks a lot better at least but so far i really like how this doll looks really really pretty i'm very excited that i have her and i'm just excited to add another one of my black dolls to my collection like again most of the dolls that i love in my whole collection are my black dolls i have this one i have a barbie one i have a sasha a felicia i have another sasha doll that i unboxed but that's a video that i'm gonna uh, have updated next week you know depending on when this video comes out and i love them they are so so good so good i love them they just make me happy because again i didn't grow up with this diversity when i was younger i think the most diversity that we had was brats and even then brats had a lot of like situations with their characters not so much the dolls per se but the way that they portrayed the black characters in the tv shows and the movies or the way that they promoted these characters and they would whitewash them a lot of the times like oftentimes i wouldn't mistake sasha for jasmine the birthmark and the shade of hair that sasha had was like a darker brown while jasmine was like a caramel and that's the way i could identify who was who but that's just crazy you know because sasha is brown skin so yeah, I'm glad that at least for now, Bratz has changed that, at least with the, the packaging and the way that they portray the characters in their shows or movies and stuff like that. So I do appreciate the change and I really like the fact that now we have more diversity when it comes to the dolls. Every time I go to the, the toy store areas and I see a lot of black dolls, I get happy because I'm just like, finally, we have more diversity on these dolls. It doesn't matter if Barbie doesn't have the greatest quality. I don't care for that matter. I just care the fact that there's more diversity in the dolls. And not only that, but the fact that the dolls, they're not all just one size in their outfits. They have more diversity in the way that they look. They're smaller, they're taller, they're chunkier, they're skinnier. Like, I love that. And it's something that I feel like I haven't talked about enough in this channel. I'm just happy that I get to own the dolls that I love and dolls that look like me. And I, and I hope that little kids can see that. If I can see that, I hope little kids grow up feeling identified with these dolls. That's just the most important thing overall to, to see kids be identified with dolls that look just like them. I love that. Love that. I live for that. That is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the Brooklyn Barbie doll from the Dream Besties collection. And what do you think about the collection overall? Who was your favorite doll from that series? My favorite again is Brooklyn. I also like Renee as well. And Teresa was very beautiful when I saw her. Her face is gorgeous, okay? Beautiful doll. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you want to hear more about my review of these dolls, I have a video that I made a while back reviewing all of them. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to click on the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.